Kang the Conqueror looks at Steve Rogers, as Hydra has begun taking over countries of Europe. The Allies fought on, and an unlikely Steve Rogers volunteered for a secret experiment, transforming him into the first super soldier. Now Captain America leads the charge against Hydra. His team is on its way to shore on some sort of mission. They move through a graveyard, but they're attacked by the enemy. A shooting begins, and we find Wolverine is one of the soldiers. Captain America suddenly intervenes in his majestic form. He rallies the troops, and meanwhile, Red Skull is not pleased with the report. The Allies continue to attack as Wolverine and the boys deliver a beating. Cap is surrounded, but clears a bridge with ease before they're hit by a Molotov. He deals with it, and his friends arrive to help. With stealth going out the window, Bucky bombs the door, but something heavy comes out. A Cyclops attacks them, knocking them around with its brute strength. Cap draws it away and tricks it into falling off the bridge. They find Hydra's labs and experiments, and Cap vows to take down Red Skull once and for all. They find Red Skull and are quickly surrounded. They surrender, and Red Skull explains his plan of recruiting mythical beasts from the realms of Asgard. They are located in one of the gateways leading there, called the Bifrost. Red Skull opens the portal, believing he's now won the war. An energy field shoots up, and they increase power until one of those creatures comes through, and they're all blinded. Cap uses this opportunity to attack, but things go south. They take out Hydra forces, but things go dark, and the monsters are released. They're surrounded again but start to fight. The monsters attack everyone and go back to the portal. Cap goes beast mode and orders Bucky to close the portal, who faces a swordman. They fight around, and Bucky uses his brain to beat him. Cap is still fighting and opens a flamethrower, clearing them out while Bucky closes the portal on one of the creatures from Asgard. Red Skull is enraged and vows revenge before leaving. Cap refuses to leave and goes after him. Cap jumps on Red Skull's rocket, and Bucky follows. They fly over the icebergs and Cap confronts Red Skull, who deploys out after activating a bomb. Cap goes to help Bucky who's tangled in the rocket, but Bucky kicks Cap off to save him, sacrificing himself in the process. Cap crashes into the ocean and is frozen in ice. He is honored, but Kang knows this isn't over. He goes back in time to witness what happened and arrives at the point where Red Skull escaped. As we replay the events, Kang is there watching, they fly up the rocket again, and Kang is there to watch Cap's fall. However, he knows that there's more to this than meets the eye. He jumps back to his base and is told that the fabric of space and time is rupturing. Everything is getting erased, and Kang believes that it is all because of Cap, something that he did start at all of this. But Kang is confused because he saw Cap fall to his demise. He reviews records of the 21st century that show him Earth getting wiped out. He prepares his men and fleet to jump in time. He preps the ships and is met by his partner. As she boards, everything starts getting wiped out and he barely saves her. They escape from the earth but there is still time for him to fix it. Years later, a bunch of fishermen are startled by Iron Man and Thor, who are searching for Hulk. They follow his trail and Jarvis detects a life form in the ice. Wasp crashes into Captain America's shield. It's Captain America. He's alive! Cap then dreams about what happened to him before he got frozen in the ocean. He wakes up to find the Avengers watching him, and he instantly attacks them, shouting for Bucky. Cap doesn't listen to reason, and keeps questioning everyone and everything, sending the plane crashing before diving into the water. Meanwhile, Black Panther is breaking into the Avengers' headquarters and accessing their files. Cap lands ashore at the Statue of Liberty, and Iron Man follows. He gets slammed by Cap's shield, then Wasp tries to calm him down before Thor attacks. Cap still won't be stopped, but then he sees Ant-Man, as well as the New World, but it doesn't deter him from continuing to fight. Wasp zaps him and tells him to look at his statue alongside Bucky. Finally, Iron Man explains to him that he's been gone for a long time. At a Hydra base, Baron Zemo arrives out of nowhere. They all bow down except for the leader. He orders his Reaper to take him out, but fails. Suddenly, a Hydra soldier breaks the news that Cap is alive. With this, Zemo leaves to destroy Cap. Back in 1943, Hydra was being handed their asses to them by Captain America, who alongside Bucky, was taking down a base led by Zemo. He hopes to release a virus on the Allies, and believes that he can beat Cap. Before Zemo can shoot Cap with the virus, Cap dumps it on him, disfiguring him. In the present day, Zemo is still kicking. He gets jumped by a monster, but stops it. He is welcomed by Dr. Zola, who has been treating him. They continue to treat him as there is no cure for the virus, and Zemo reveals that Cap is alive. Zola is enraged that they failed to obtain Cap's DNA samples, and tells Zemo that his blood can cure him. The problem, though, is that Cap has new friends. Back to Black Panther, he is startled by the Avengers who came home. They explain to Cap that they won the war, 
but Hydra is still there. Iron Man shows Cap what happened, and he believes that Bucky is still alive, but it is unlikely. Everyone Cap ever knew is gone. He gives up his shield and walks away, but suddenly, there's an alert. The Avengers assemble, and Black Panther is watching. The Hydra monster attacks the Avengers, and they are not getting affected. As that is happening, another is at the Avengers mansion. Steve is visited by Wasp, but they're told that there is a guest at the main gate. Cap is broken inside believing that he shouldn't have woken up. Suddenly, the attacks continue, and the Avengers are in deep trouble. Cap runs to the fight, but they're met by the monster. They shoot it, but nothing happens. She zaps it, but it still keeps coming. Cap tries to join the fight, but gets squashed. The monster swallows Wasp, but she shoots her way out, making a giant mess. She then gets shot by Zemo, and they start fighting. Zemo welcomes the challenge, and they both face each other. Cap gets slashed a couple of times, while Zemo trash talks. Before Zemo delivers the final blow, Cap's shield comes to save him. It was Black Panther. He leaves, and now Cap is back in his element, teaching Zemo a lesson. Zemo refuses to give up and activates a bomb, but Cap shields it off. Back with the Avengers, they're getting destroyed. They're all getting swallowed by it, and no one can do anything until Cap intervenes. They begin to fight the giant monster, freeing each other in the process. Only Wasp's attacks are effective, so Ant-Man configures his beams to match, and they start beating the monster. Iron Man does the same, and starts blasting. The monster is getting its ass handed to it until they win, and they're covered in goo. The people cheer for them, and later, Cap watches the footage while talking to Tony Stark. Tony gives him an old picture of his father and Cap, and Cap appreciates it. Tony offers Cap a place in the Avengers and he accepts, but none of them seem to know who Black Panther is. Later on, Zemo goes back to Zola, but he's been destroyed by Thor's enemies, who have an offer for him. This was Captain America's story and initiation into the Avengers. It was weird that the Avengers formed without him at first, which we're not used to. We also don't like the fact that Hydra never goes away. Other than that, the series is a must-watch and entertaining in every episode. Well, this brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like this one. Your support helps us grow. And tell me what you think about this story. What do you think of Hydra's role in Captain America's story? What else would you like to see in this series so we can continue to deliver it? Let me know in the comments below, I read all of them. And if you're watching till now thank you, I'll see you in another video soon.